Let's get to it. Two. Hi, Josh Bo, MazMoneyBall.com. Uh, Derek with Boston All Series. The way they can score at the rim and space you out at the corner. Tonight they got a lot of more corner threes. What do you guys do now down 3-0 to try to keep trying to adjust and, and try to take something away, whether it's the rim or the corner? Uh, you know, we just got to make history. You know, we got to go out there and we just got to play like our lives on the line. We got to be able to make sure that we're not giving up corner threes. You know, the game plan is allowing them to get to the rim, allow them to take pull-up twos. So we're going to keep letting them do that, but we got to be able to rotate well. We got to be able to talk, communicate, and know where the pass is going to go and know where we need to be. Fifth row on the left, Dan. Uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports over here, Derek. Um, oh, right over here. Gotcha. Sorry. Um, you said you got to play like your lives are on the line. Um, 156 teams have been down 3-0. No one's made it back yet. Um, what was the mood in the locker room when you guys got back there? What's the vibe of the team standing right now? You know, we all know what it takes. We all know we got to put everything in our minds, our body, and our soul into this game. You know, we're watching film. We're talking to one another. We're trying to figure out what we need to do. You know, they're a great team, so you got to give them that. You know, they, they know how to score. They've been doing this for a long time. So, you know, we just got to be able to step up and learn and just be able to adapt. Third row in the middle, Tim. Gotcha. Tim Cato, The Athletic. Um, you know, coming into this game, the, the adjustment that, that, that you guys were trying to make, um, you know, did, did you feel like you guys did a good job executing them? Was it just that, you know, even when you were executing them, that once again, Boston is just that good of a team? Like, obviously, there's, you know, there's even an 11-man rotation that, that Jason Kidd was using tonight. Um, it really comes down to us, you know, just taking our foot off the gas. You know, there was times in the game that we allowed them to be comfortable, allowed them to walk into threes, and that's, that's what they're going to do. They're going to make the shots that they get, and we're going to give them. You know, we just can't. We just can't take our foot off the gas. You know, there was times in, you know, I'd say the third quarter and the end of the second that we just allowed them to go on runs. We allowed them to get comfortable. And, you know, we just can't allow that to happen. We got to be able to be up in the grill the entire game and not let our foot off the gas. Second row on the right. Hi, Derek. Joey Mistretta, Clutch Points. Um, I wanted to ask just about when Luca fouls out, what is the, I guess, the mindset with the team, maybe a sense of urgency to just, you know, step up and try to win that game? Next man up mentality. You know, no matter if I fall out, no matter if Luca fouls out or Kai, it's a next man up mentality. You know, no matter who's on the floor, no matter what's going on in the game, we all putting our our heart and soul in trying to win. You know, I feel like we did a we did an amazing job throughout the whole game. Even though when we slipped up, we were staying together, we were staying positive, and we were doing whatever we could to try to win. But we just got to be able to make the we got to take care of the little things, the little details is what's going to cost us the game. First over here on the left, Brad. Following up on that, uh, Brad Townsend, Dallas Morning News, when he did get his sixth foul and then there was the coach's challenge, it's so rare for him to foul out. What were you thinking during that challenge? Um, you know, I didn't think it was a foul. I don't think any of us did. But, you know, this, uh, you, can't take a, you can't take back what the ref call. You can't take back that moment. So seeing him foul out, you know, he put, in our, he put in his trust in us, his teammates, as I would do if I fouled out. So just because he fouls out doesn't mean we're all going to look down. We're all going to be like, oh, boo-hoo, we, lo we lose. We lost. We're going to keep our foot on the gas. We were trying to do whatever we could to stay in the game and try to win. And that's what, you know, we weren't able to come up short. But, you know, we're going to learn from our mistakes. Any other questions for Derek? Dwayne Price here on the left, on the right. DwaynePriceMaps.com. When you guys found out that Porzingis wasn't going to play, what was the mindset going into the game? You know, us as bigs. We were just trying to make a more of an impact than we have the past two games. Trying to duck in, trying to be all over the glass, no matter if it's defensive or offensive, and just try to be able to get on a run. You know, since they, they were trying to pass off uh, Perzingis' man a lot, but even with that, we were trying to put Al Horford in it, any other elephants, and just trying to be able to just get the mismatches, get the space, and get the shots that we like. Front row, Mike. Mike Curtis, Dallas Morning News. Obviously, we know Kyrie's had a pretty rough go for it, um, just the first two games. What did you see from him tonight and trying to lead your team, especially when Luka was out? You know, he came out, he was ahead of the snake. You know, I feel like he was leading us, you know, making sure that we had the energy, making sure we were talking to each other, staying positive, and then setting each other up. You know, he was talking to us, saying what, we need, what he needs from us and what we need from him. You know, he's definitely, he's been a great leader. You know, he had a great game today, and, you know, I know he's going to have another one uh, on Friday. Fifth row, Jake. Jake Fisher, Yahoo Sports. But on the long lines of the Przingis absence, what did you see of Xavier Tillman tonight after he wasn't really a factor in the series, came out with like a plus nine, had some stops on Luka? Um, you know, he's a great defender. You know, he's been in the league for a while. He understands the game. He understands the schemes of what they're trying to do and what we're trying to do. 
you know, he, there was a couple of times that, you know, he got on the ball, he was moving his puppies. You know, you got to tip your hat to that. But just because that happens, just because they're adding a new person in doesn't mean anything. We were just trying to do what we do, get out in pace, get out, pass the ball, throw it ahead, get to the rim. If not, get quarter threes and just move the ball around. Any other questions for Derek?